Hello everybody, I am back again with another Transformer video and this one is the Transformers Collector Showcase from 1986 and this holds and displays up to 12 of your favorite Transformers actually most of the smaller ones, it doesn't really hold anything larger than I'd say Optimus Prime, even he might not fit in there but uh, we'll find out, so this is mint in box tape's broken, it's got a nice Toys R Us price tag here. Rest in peace, Toys R Us. I know you're still in Canada. I hope to hang on. Two dollars and ninety-seven cents marked down, and the original price was five ninety-seven. And I love it. Right here it says, "Figures not included." Well, no shit, but that would have been awesome if they were. So you can carry it, display it, or hang it right here. So I'll just show you the front once again. Oh, it's by, uh, what was the company's name? It was by Tara Toy Corporation, New York. Made in, assembled, or made in, printed in Hong Kong. Right there, I never heard of that company. They're probably gone now, but, uh, so I'll put it real quick back up here. And now we're going to open them up. I've never opened this up. Well, I've opened it up. I haven't put it together yet though, so uh, I'm going to do that. Okay, so this is what's inside the box. These are the shelves, I assume. And the stand, and then there's these little clear straps. I'm probably not going to put those on because I don't think they're going to hold very well. But the shelves would go here, obviously, and then uh, the stand would go on the bottom. And then these those straps that I just showed you are supposed to go in these little holes and hold these transformers from falling which is kind of cool because in California where I live it's earthquake city but I'm not going to put those on and here's the instructions to that white piece of paper so now I'm going to open them up okay so I already jumped ahead and just put some shelves on smallest shelf on top medium sized one in the middle and then the large one I'm going to put on right now takes all of Two seconds. They just fit in these little tabs here. I put one of these on already, and there's just one more to go. And just pop right in here. Like that okay. So that's pretty easy. Just put all three of these just slide in the tabs. It stands pretty good. It's strange that it stands a little bit. Forward, you'd think it would stand a little back because of the figures, but then I guess they figure you're going to use these, and um, I don't want to take these off. These are those little straps that go in these holes, and the figures are locked in. But I'm going to leave it like that. And you can hang it like it says. I might just do that. But for now, I'm going to get some of my old Transformers out, and I'm going to throw them on this thing. Well, I did my best trying to replicate the picture that you see on the left with the way all the Transformers are rearranged but I didn't feel like spending an hour or two going through boxes trying to find all those. I have a lot of those loose. I think I have all of them loose except for Mirage but anyways you'll notice Power Glide is transformed weird because that's the only way he'll fit on there. He won't fit regular on this little tiny shelf. Really only the cassettes can fit on this tiny shelf here but the mini bots fit great on the middle one and then the medium sized bots most of them will probably fit on the lower one and I put Brawl in there just because I had them that's actually one I got originally when I was like eight and same with Power Glide and I wanted to point out one more thing that bigger bots like this there's no way like Rick Gar, there's no way in hell he's gonna fit anywhere on this unless you took maybe this middle shelf out and then put him on there, but even then, I think he's got too much stuff on the back. He probably would not stand right. His feet would be tipping off this ledge here. So that's one drawback, but other than that, for 1986, it's pretty cool, especially if you have a lot of little Transformers. It looks really nice. you got the nice logo right there and everything. And you can hang it. I might try that. I'm going to leave this out like this, I think, in my closet for a little while. It's pretty neat to look at. Not that hard to find on eBay. I got this one on eBay. There's probably several other ones right now. I looked the other day and there was one going for 35 bucks or something around there. It's probably more than that because it's had a day left and you know how everybody else loves a bit the last 10 seconds or 20 seconds. So um, if you want one, I say grab it. Make sure it comes with everything. 
three shelves, two things for the stand, and if you want those little weird plastic holders, then make sure it comes with those. So that will do it for me, and I got three more videos coming up before Christmas. Uh, I got two really big ones. Actually, they're all pretty big. They're all going to take time, so expect one up next month, October. What's it, September now? Probably one November, I'll have more time, and then last one. I'm going to do an audio version of my big collection video, so uh, with voiceover and everything. So that's it for me. So I will see you later.